so the next point says that education is sought not only as it confers higher earning capacity on people but also for its other highly valued benefits so they say that educated people not only contributes towards the economy financially but they have other few benefits as well of being an educated person so what are those benefits first it gives one a better social standing and pride of course if you have good earnings if you have good employment opportunity you are working with a very good organization or with a very good company then you will have a good social people social crowdings when you go and sit with 10 people you will find out that you are the most confident person why you have become confident because your income is that much you possess so many kinds of skills so many kinds of knowledge so that is the other benefit of being educated next it says that it enables one to make better choices in life so it's a very of course point since you are educated you know so many things you have knowledge of so many things that whenever you make choices in your life you are going to be mostly or i can say precisely you are going to make a a very good choice because of your education being educated so if i compare that this a person is the manager of the company and this b person is the construction laborer then you only just uh, you can on also just analyze that who is going to make much more beneficial decision for themselves whether a will make that decision which is very good or a whether a will make a choice which is very good for him or whether b will make a choice which is very good for him of course their motives are different but in when we talk about the same thing about taking the decision about the same topic or about the same thing then you only can think that who is going to take more better decision so of course the answer is a is going to take the best decision for his life as in comparison to b because since a is so much educated he has so much of knowledge that he is going to take a very good decision for himself whereas b since doesn't have a much of a education background he doesn't know so much of uh, things which an educated people know so in comparison to a b is not going to make that much of a great decision for his life or great choice in his life next benefit is it provides knowledge to understand the changes taking place in the society of course whatever kind of changes are taking place in the society an educated person will may feel understand it more as in comparison to an uneducated person so basically educated person will understand that what are the changes taking place in the society or in the country whereas b who is a laborer will not be able to understand or grasp the knowledge so clearly last it says it also stimulates innovation since educated people have so much of knowledge ideas and skills we say that they contribute towards the good innovations mm-hmm.